Good day, viewers. What an exciting time it is again for us to stay and learn at the feet of Jesus. And I encourage you, like I always do, to get ready, come with your notepads, invite everyone in your household. God is definitely going to bring his word our way today. I tell you something. You can always count on God's word. Bible said in 2 Samuel chapter 22, verse 31, he said, As for God, his way is perfect. He said, The word of the Lord is proven, and the Lord is a shield to all who trust in him. So the ways of our Lord are perfect, and his ways are found even in his word. We want to thank God for helping us to complete the series on marriage the sub team that we looked at last week we considered incest as one of the abuses we see in today's marriage covenant and on the same vein we're equally thanking god for bringing us to begin a new sub team the lord god of all nations under the general team for this year covenant with the living god and our topic to set the ball rolling to build the foundation the framework for the discussion going further the topic today will be the concept of a nation. We have our fathers and the Lord, whom God will be using to bring his mind our way. By my right is the venerable Oludare Emmanuel Otoke. He is the Archdeacon, Gudu Archdeaconry, as well as the Vicar, Basilica of Grace, here in Abuja Diocese. You are welcome to the program, sir. Good day, viewers at home. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. By my left is our Father in God, the Venerable Dr. Prince Will Iroba. He is Director, Hebrew Ecumenical Center, Abarato, all the way from Delta State. That is good to have you again. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Greetings, viewers at home. Our aims today, one, remember I said we will be introducing the sub team today. So our aims will be to understand what comprises a nation and its responsibilities towards God. Secondly, to understand the responsibilities of leadership to the citizens and vice versa. I mean, for me, that is instructive. Leadership comes, is a wondrous task and it has responsibilities. And there are also responsibilities that is attached to followership. So we are trusting God to open our mind to understand all those. And then finally, to understand the Christian's civic responsibilities. Every child of God is part of a nation. Yes. And we have obligations, civic duties that we owe our nation. We are trusting God to help us look at all those as we discuss today. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I'd like us to read our text. And Venerable Dr. Sir, Luke chapter 3, 10 to 14. And Venerable Toki, Romans chapter 13, 1 to 7. Luke chapter 3, 10 to 14. Venerable Doctor, you help us read. And then Venerable Toki, Romans chapter 13, 1 to 7. Let's build the discussion together from those texts. Luke chapter 3, 10 to 14. So the people asked him, asked, uh, him saying, What shall we do then? He answered and said to them, he who has two tonics, let him give to him who has none. And him who has food, let him do likewise. Then tax collectors also came to be baptized and said to him, Tisha, what shall we do? And he said to them, Collect no more than what is appointed for you. Likewise, the soldiers asked him, saying, And what shall we do? So he said to them, Do not intimidate anyone or accuse falsely and be content with your wages. This is the word of God. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. You know, Daddy, as you read, I sense God speaking to someone in Nigeria today. Mm. And I trust that we will respond in obedience in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Romans sir. chapter 13, verses 1 to 7. Romans 13, 1 to 7. I read. 
Let every soul be subject to the governing authorities. Amen. For there is no authority except from God, and the authorities that exist are appointed by God. Therefore, whoever resists the authority resists the ordinance of God, and those who resist will bring judgment upon themselves. For rulers are not terror to good works, but to evil. Do you want to be unafraid of the authority? Do what is good, and you will have praise from the same. For he is God's minister to you for good. But if you do evil, be afraid. For he does not bear the sword in vain. For he is God's minister, an avenger, to execute wrath on him who practices evil. Therefore, you must be subject not only because of wrath, but also for conscience' sake. For because of this, you also pay taxes. For they are God's ministers attending continually to this very thing. Render therefore to all their dues, taxes to whom taxes are due, customs to whom customs, fear to whom fear, and honor to whom honor. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Our introduction. A nation is made up of a people as an organized body, polity, usually associated with a particular territory and possessing a distinctive and social way of life. It usually has an earthly authority. Those who rule over others in order to keep society stable and orderly. Our text recognizes that a nation is governed by people ordained by God. So Christians should obey them. Just to throw in uh, another definition from the dictionary, a nation, large group of people sharing the same culture, language or history and inhabiting a particular state or area. And that resonates with what we've seen in the introduction, that within a particular geography, nations are delineated. But what is of utmost importance to us as Christians as we build this team, beginning from today, will be to understand that there are responsibilities and that God expects us to obey those who are in authority. We pray that the Lord will help us heed these instructions in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Venerable Doctor Sir, in your own word, how would you describe a nation in line with Romans chapter 13, 1 to 7? We are Father in God, Venerable Otoki just took. But maybe for emphasis, let me read it out for you and then we'll take your submission, sir. Let every soul be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God, and the authorities that exist are appointed by God. Therefore, whoever resists the authority resists the ordinance of God, and those who resist will bring judgment on themselves. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to evil. Do you want to be unafraid of the authority? Do what is good, and you will have praise from the same. For he is a minister to you for good, but if you do evil, be afraid, for he does not bear the sword in vain. For he is God's minister an avenger to execute wrath on him who practices evil. Therefore, you must be subject, not only because of wrath, but also for conscience sake. For because of this, you also pay taxes, for they are God's ministers attending continually to this very thing. Render therefore to all their due, taxes to whom taxes are due, custom to whom customs, fear to whom fear, honor to whom honor. That is, we've just read this scripture. But the question is, how would you describe a nation in your own world and in line with this text? Uh, well, I think nation is uh, about people. Yes, sir. Even in as much as we talk of uh, geographical location, but it's not really geographical location. It's people uh, wherever they are. Yes, sir. They may even, uh, um, but uh, when they gather, Wherever people gather, there needs to be order. Yes, sir. And that's why there is a kind of a government mm. which uh, the test is emphasizing. Yes, sir. That um, 
um, there shouldn't be chaos and there shouldn't be disorder. That God Himself is a God of order. Yes, sir. And uh, people should not just be a place where every man um, is in his own, doing whatever mm. is uh, pleasing to Him. Mm. So, nation, when God, uh, the way God created nation, He didn't create it just as nature. He started by creating, creating individuals. Is individuals that increase to become nation. Exactly, yes. sir. In the Bible, we have Abraham as a nation, but the nation started with the global nation, yes, the nations sir. of the world. That's how the Bible started before it comes down to the nation of Abraham and so many other nations. Yes, so, sir. So, uh, you see, in Genesis, when God created man, he said, you increase. Uh, feed the land. Yeah, feed mm. the land. So mm. that increase is uh, nations coming forth. Out. Uh, so there are now uh, many nations uh, of the world. So nation, I will see nation as um, uh, people uh, with um, uh, common descent yes. and then um, also with um, uh, uh, affinity, social um, affinity, cultural affinity. Yes, sir. Um, maybe language, things, and uh, and uh, if they also have a common territory, and they so that uh, they will be governed. They will be governed. But uh, sometimes people can be different, uh, different places. Uh, um, 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 Yoruba is a nation. Yes, they are yes, people. Yes. So uh, you are now in the northern area or uh, north central. Uh, so even though you are from a particular the area, but zone. When wherever you, talk you about are, humanity. so yeah. you are talking about yeah. people. Exactly. It's people. That's what I see as nation. Awesome. Uh, and it's created by God. Awesome. And God also, He Himself, who is so that, wants people to be likewise and be ordered. And that's why uh, society, nature is like a, a, a governed society. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. you. Yeah. That I thank God that my Father and the Lord mm -hmm. has emphasized because there are some points, some peculiarities of nations I wanted to mention. Yes, sir. First of all, when you look in the Bible, a nation, they can trace their genealogy to a common ancestor. Yes, sir. Thank you. To a nation. Yes, sir. And that also bring about their language, mm. that they speak one language. Yes, sir. I know that some people will start to recognize Nigeria not a nation. Nigeria is a conglomerate nations, of nations. <laughs> yeah. And we need to accept <laughs> that. Yeah, that yeah. And that is why we adopt yeah. English as a Nigua well, Franca. Yeah. Yeah, right. Because we have different languages. A nation has I heard that the last count up to 250 something. Uh -huh. yes. So Tons. Nigeria is a country of many nations. Yes, sir. But that doesn't mean we cannot dwell together. Exactly. When you are mm -hmm. dividing nations, nations can even have covenant with another nation. Mm. But let us know that nation, they have one, they can trace their genealogy to the common, common ancestry. ancestry. Yes. And two, they have common language and their cultures, norms and values are the same. Hmm. They they agree to the same norms and values. Awesome. You can say Nigeria in modern times, you can say Nigeria is a nation because we have a constitution. Hmm. But the way we operate the constitution will determine whether nations within Nigeria we want to stay together or go apart. So basically, nations must have the same language awesome. so we can understand, can interaction can be easy. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for uh, throwing uh, shade for that. Talk of this language. Remember in Genesis. The merchants, they were the same. <laughs> yes, they were all 11. And yes, 11. Them. Them. So there are not many nations. Many nations, so different there are talks. of nations yeah. in the Bible. <laughs> yeah. The peoples. Yeah, yeah. awesome. You know, so, talking uh, about people, you know, yeah. that you mentioned it, whether that is yeah. essentially about people, not yeah. just the geographical, geographical space. Yeah. And that reminds me, you know, in Genesis 25, when Rebecca inquired and the Lord revealed and said, two nations are in your womb, yes. talking about Esau and Jacob. Yes. So the capacity for an individual to multiply and grow and become a nation, nation. is inherent in man. Exactly. Yes. And it, then, uh, to buttress that point, God addresses people based on their future, not based on their present. Exactly. So when you say two nations are in your womb, he's talking prophetically about what will happen to them. For example, Esau, 
became Edom, the Edomites. Mm. That's the nation of Esau. Exactly, Why Jacob became the Israelites. Mm. Awesome. So, mm. yeah. so, so for the child of God who is watching, for me it's instructive that we pay close attention to know that inside of us is resident the capacity to multiply. Yes. And yes. become nation. Even like they, our Bible coordinator, now you are a nation. Awesome. It's a matter of time. <laughs> awesome. It's, yes. it's a matter of time. Yes. 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 Yeah. If you continue to grow, and I pray you will grow. Amen. In 1,000 years time, 2,000 years time, if Christ starts, if Christ starts, <laughs> your descendant will be so much. Amen. And if they can come together within a geographical location, they can say they are a nation. <laughs> that is, I receive it. Even if they don't come to yeah, the geographical <laughs> location, uh, yeah, is, they Israel, can there them was them. a time Israel was, was all over the world. Yes, mm -hmm. they are but, still but they are still a nation. Yeah, yes, they are still a nation. That, that is that yeah. prophecy. Yeah. Maybe people in my village will begin to <laughs> increase in the land to know that something is going to happen. Thank you, sir. That was a good The surnames people have. Yes. It's the nation at that point. People bear their father's name exactly. and they still to go down. Awesome. These how nations are born. Yes. And, and then, uh, Daddy, just before we go on break briefly, there's also something you brought out that this issue about order. Mm -hmm. That's why states are formed. You know, in Judges, Bible said that at the time there, there was, was no time minister, right? people was no did as they pleased. And yes, uh, there was no orderliness. No, no king. Even at a point, no Deborah, the Bible talked about yes. Deborah, the wife yeah. of Lapidot, yes. arising, yes. and then street life came back to Israel. Mm -hmm. So the essence of nation, also as we'll be looking into briefly, is for there to be order because God is not the author of confusion. Yes. And so that will bring us to appreciating that there are roles for us to play, to maintain order, even in the society and amongst nations. Venerable sir, yes. what should the people expect from their rulers mm. and what should rulers expect from their subjects? Quickly, you will help us with Luke chapter 3, 12 to 14. Luke chapter 3, verses 12 to, to 14. 14. And then, uh, uh, Venerable Dr. Sir, uh, Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2. Let's read those texts, and I'll read First Timothy 2, 1 to 2. If time permits us, we read First Peter as well, and then we share your thoughts. Luke 3, 12 to 14. He said, Then tax collectors also came to be baptized, and said to him, Teacher, what shall we do? And he said to them, Collect no more than what is appointed for hmm. you. Likewise, the soldiers asked him, saying, and what shall we do? So he said to them, Do not intimidate anyone hmm. or accuse falsely or be content. He said, And be content with your wages. Hmm. Awesome. Then that the Proverbs 29 2. When the righteous are in authority, hmm. the people will rejoice. Hmm. But when a wicked man rules, the people groan. Hmm. Wow. First Timothy chapter. The two, I read from verse 1 to 2. Therefore, I exhort first of all that supplication, prayers, intercession, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings and all who are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and reverence. First Peter chapter 2 and verse 13 to 14. Therefore, submit yourself to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether to kings as supreme or to governors, as to those who are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers and for the praise of those who do good. For this is the will of God, that by doing good you may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men, as free, yet not using liberty as a cloak for vice, but as born servant of God. Honor all people, love the brotherhood, fear God, honor the king. Venerable sir, yes, sir, what should the people expect from their rulers? And what should rulers expect from their subjects in the light of all these texts? Thank you. That question is of two parts. What should people expect from their rulers? Yes, sir. We had in Proverbs 29 too, when the righteous are in power, people rejoice. Yes, sir. Righteous. What does it mean to be righteous? To be righteous means to do the right thing. Exactly. We sir. were talking of orderliness. We were talking of law and order. Hmm. There can be no order without law. Yes, sir. That is why a country will, is supposed to be guided by the constitution. Hmm. When the leaders are following the constitution, because the constitution will say what each in the society should do. Yes, sir. What the government should do for the populace, what the populace should do for the government. Exactly, sir. What the populace or the masses are expecting from the rulers is I want equity hmm. fairness yes sir 
non-discrimination, provision of social amenities. Yes, sir. Provision of security. I always say this in Nigeria. Let's let's be practical. In Nigeria, if the government provides good road, hmm. regular supply of electricity, regular supply of fuel, whether petrol or diesel or whatever, and earth facility, nobody cares who governs Nigeria. Exactly. Nobody cares from where the president comes. But so long as these essentials so long as are, these there. Things are there exactly, and there sir. is fairness, you can go to court and receive justice. And we are right. playing by the rule. Everything will work. People are talking of, say, for example, because they feel that, okay, a particular tribe is dominating. Mm. Because of but if, if the particular yeah. tribe, if, if they are ruling for 100 years, if there is fairness, if they are doing what they are supposed to do, nobody cares. So what essentially the populace are expecting from the government is justice. Yes, justice sir. and equity. Yes, sir. And welfare, provision of the amenities. Basic Nigerians are not lazy. Nigerians are not lazy. If government will do what's supposed to do, there will be less grumbling. Exactly, sir. Now, on the side of the populace, government also expects submission. Yes, sir. To the rules and other, or the rules and regulations, norms and values of the society. Awesome, sir. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. I think yes. that is quite succinctly put. I trust that the Lord will help us to heed to these obligations, both on the side of government and on the side of the people. Mm -hmm. We're we'll back in a moment to continue. God bless you. Now streaming, now analyzing, now assessing, now discussing, now sharing your thoughts on everything and every issue that affects you. ACNN is now streaming, discusses the issues trending and the matters that matter to us all. Join us every Monday to Friday at 10 a.m. on ACNN as we go in-depth into every issue that impacts our lives, our communities and our country. Welcome back. The Lord has been helping us, bringing his mind our way. And I've been in the studio with our fathers in the Lord, the Venerable Emmanuel Oludare Toki and the Venerable Dr. Prince Willy Roba. Welcome to the program once yeah, again. Thank, thank you, you the moderator. Yeah. Just before we went for break, we were looking at the obligations of leadership to the citizen and as well as the responsibilities of the citizens back to the leadership. And our father in law has quite succinctly elucidated on those. But I'd like to have your take, the Venerable Dr. Sir. You know, there's a scripture I would like to read because our Father in God mentioned justice. Second Samuel chapter 23, verse 3, talking to leadership, say, the God of Israel said, the rock of Israel spoke to me. He who rules over men must be just, mm -hmm. ruling in the fear of God. Yes. Your take on this? Yes, I think um, uh, the Venerable Otoke has uh, said, um, but he has de dealt with it uh, very well. Mm. You see, that justice, righteousness, mm. and uh, uh, you have the well-being of the people, mm. your man. Yes. So, so whatever you do, you are not there to um, just enslave them. Mm. Or um, uh, when you read that other passage, we look at uh, John the Baptist. Mm. You see people exploiting people. Mm. Uh, today, you say, I say, the soldiers. Uh, people, you say, don't intimidate. Uh, intimidate. Uh -huh. uh, Be people, content with your wage. Uh, don't the, 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 once you see yourself in position of authority, mm. you now think that uh, it's an opportunity now to do whatever uh, to you do like. To do whatever with impunity. Maybe John uh, the Baptist was talking to today's Nigeria. Uh, yes, that, <laughs> when the word of God is new every day, the word of yeah, God is alive. So when you say the fear of the uh, Lord, the, many times they forget that there is a higher authority. authority. Mm. Uh, because you say the fear of God, knowing that one day you will give the account of your stewardship. Awesome. If you find yourself in any leadership position, you are a steward there for crying out loud. Mm. You didn't put yourself there. And the person who is God Almighty that put you there will surely ask you, what you have what done. you did hmm. with that authority hmm. awesome so yes. the fear of the lord so, thank you and the, the other side too yes. as he has said um we the citizens also have to support 
exactly. the authority. Mm. Yes. Even though there are some weaknesses, uh, in the Bible, the other passage you read, it says yes. we should even be praying. Yes, as many. Yeah, yeah, that's Timothy. Yeah, that that we may live in peace. Uh, so, mm. so that because even God can also touch their hearts. Sometimes yes. they deviate. Uh, we say but their prayers. Uh, yes. So that prayer is also part of our responsibility. Trying to, we are working together. This yeah. thing is a partnership because when God puts this authority, it's not that some people are higher. Mm. Even in marriage. Because two people alone, mm. when two people are there, there may be different opinions. So that's why God says, man is the head. It's not that man is superior, mm -hmm. but that there will be order. 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 To be uh -huh. So that order extends into the wider society. Awesome. Uh -huh. hmm. God indeed will, will help us to hearken to these instructions so that our society will become the better for it in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Talking about prayer. When last did you pray for Nigeria? When last did you pray for Mr. President Buhari? When last did you pray for all those in authority? It's our obligations as children of God, as Christians, to be praying. The Bible enjoys us to do so. Yes. Question three. Venerable Dr. Sir, how should a nation relate to God as their creator? Joshua chapter 24, 13 to 14. You help us read quickly. Venerable Toki, Psalm 95, 6 to 8. And of course, Proverbs 14, 33, a very popular scripture, righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach. I have, I have given you a land for which you did not labor, mm. and cities which you did not build, and you dwell in them. Mm. You eat of the vineyards Jesus. and olive groves which you did not plant. Mm. Now, therefore, fear the Lord, mm. serve him, in sincerity and in truth, and put away the gods which your father served on the other side of the river and in Egypt. Serve the Lord. Mm. Mm. Awesome. Psalm 95, six to eight. 6 to 8. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Mm. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are his people, the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if you will hear his voice, do not harden your heart as in the rebellion, as in the days of trial in the wilderness. I wish we had a choir here to chant the night. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so, Daddy, how should a nation relate to God as their creator? As if you look at this um, um, Joshua that I read, mm. um, it reminds me of this um, thing they read in... Um, the deeds, um, Aquiaras, Aquiaras, mm. and, okay. and then at the end, you say, Now, mm. yeah, for uh, yeah. So, the conditions are mm. there. God started the whole thing, He yes, created sir. man, and from man now, nations, nations spring up, yes, sir. So, He's the source, and yes. uh, He created everything for His own glory, mm. yes, sir. All uh, things we are created, uh, He's now calling us to realize that. Mm -hmm. Have you, if you see what he told them, the land, I gave you the land. You, you did know, not labor for it. Yes, I created hmm. you, took you, and now, following all these things, you should submit yes, yourself. Lord, your and creator. that should be the relationship. Hmm. The, the problem that God had with those people that were building the towers of ba Babel, Babel was that they wanted to make them for, for themselves, themselves yes, and, and not, not to God, mm. and not to honor God. Mm. And so God scattered them. Yes. Mm. And God has always been humiliating people who exalt themselves. Exactly. So when any nation, any people that forgets that, God, that forgets God mm -hmm. they are in for it because uh, um, when God will strike, <laughs> exactly, uh, they will, they will, uh, they will know really that they are but dust, exactly. they are but uh, yes. finite. Mm. Uh, so that is uh, uh, the relationship is to understand really that God is the owner. That God is I like the owner. that Psam twenty four verse. Uh, I say the uh, earth is the Lord's Lord and, and the fullness thereof. Yeah. The, the yeah. world and the people that dwell well, in it, even we yeah. that we are talking, that human beings, we are God's property. Exactly. And God has the right to use his property. As he anyhow. likes. That's why he's awesome. sovereign. 
some yes, rain. You know, uh, yeah, uh, 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 over uh, but we, sometimes the way you see this uh, power, they the say that power do. intoxicates. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it corrupts. Uh, uh, corrupts. Yeah. So once you enter, then you now think because you command, you see, authority, uh, you, um, you derive authority from God. And yes. that authority now, you say something and it happens. And People will obey. That, and you say, ah, is it not is it again? Uh, <laughs> so like before, you know, be, uh, before you know <laughs> it now, you, get into you now it. forget about God. Amen. So God should be at the center, center of, uh, of, of our, our existence. Do. The mm. relationship of nations mm. with God is to mm. recognize our place with mm. God. Within that order, that scheme. There's a word you say that I would like to say something with regards to that. You say that God has always humiliated men who wants to maybe usurp his sovereignty. After the order mm. of Nebuchadnezzar. That's what I wanted to say. Yeah. Even yeah. Herod. Herod, Nebuchadnezzar. Look at the confession yeah. of Nebuchadnezzar himself. But I think you know Daniel chapter concern, 4. As we go, do you know my concern? What baffles me is that people, we don't learn from history. No, no, no. If no. we learn Men from, are still repeating that. Yes, they are still repeating the same. If you are learning from history, nobody should be proud. Whatever position you may be, whatever position you may attain, know that somebody puts you in that position. You didn't put yourself. You might have made effort. It's not your effort. It's because God allowed it. Hmm. Exactly. Awesome. Yes. Look at the confession of the Bukadnezer himself. I think Daniel 4.35. Yes. You see, all the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as nothing. Yes. He does according to the way, according to his will in the army of heaven and mm. among the inhabitants of the earth. Yes. No one can restrain his hand or say to him, what is it you are doing? Exactly. That's a king yeah, who that, thought... Huh? But when, God God before, but when God humbled him, he confessed. This yes. God is awesome. Remember... We are looking at the Lord God of all nations as something. Yes. So you need to appreciate the sovereignty of this God. Mm -hmm. Psalm 103 verse 19, the Bible says that the Lord has established his throne in the heavenlies yes. and his kingdom ruleth over all. Mm -hmm. Let's look at question four. Venerable sir, in yes. what practical way should Christians of every nation shine as examples for the Lord, even in persecutions? Mm -hmm. Matthew chapter 5, 13 to 16. You help us with that, Venerable. Yes, sir. Venerable doctor, sir, face Timothy 4:12. And then I'll read First Peter 2, 20 to 21, as we begin to wrap up the discussion. Yes, sir. Matthew 5, 13 to 16. Jesus said, You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. Hmm. You are the light of the world, a city that is set on the hill. Cannot, cannot be, be hidden. hidden. Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand that it gives light to all who are in the house. So let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Awesome. Mm -hmm. First Timothy 4.12. 1 Timothy 4.12. Take heed to your ministry. Mm -hmm. Let no one despise your youth. But be an example to the believers in word, in conduct, in love, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Awesome. First Peter chapter 2, 20 to 21, quickly I read. For what credit is it if when you are beaten for your fault, you take it patiently? But when you do good and suffer, if you take it patiently, this is commendable before God. For to this you we are called. Because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that you should follow his steps. Venerable sir. Yes, sir. In what practical ways should Christians of every nation shine as examples for the Lord, even in persecution? First of all, the practical way is to obey our God in every situation. Yes, whatever sir. may be the level of persecution, whatever may be the nature of the persecution, we should obey God, we should show that our God is above all. Mm. For example, you say, pray for those who persecute you. Yes, sir. Who despite they use you, say we should pray, we should still pray. For example, today now, an average Christian, I said average, Christian mm. in Nigeria, we find it difficult to pray for Buhari. Mm. That's the truth of the matter. Yeah. And that's one of the things I love in the Anglican Church. In the Anglican Church, our rubrics are there, our prayer points is there. In every service, according to the structure of our uh, service, liturgy, you have to pray for, for the those. church, 
You have to, to pray the, for the, the nation. nation. You have to pray for the rulers, mm -hmm. both secular and sacred rulers. Yes, That's sir. first thing we can pray for them. Not praying against them, pray for them. And Second Timothy also say we should pray. Or First Timothy chapter two say we should also pray for them that we may live in Peace. quietness and peacefully. So that's the first thing. Two, we don't retaliate even when we have the opportunity mm. or when we have the power to do so. You don't retaliate that because somebody has killed my father, mm. I have to kill his father also. Because today now, because of the systemic persecution, because what we are going through now is not just only barbaric persecution. It's we also have systemic pers yeah. persecution. In your office, they cannot kill you, but they make life difficult for you there. We should also, at that place, even though we have been persecuted, when we have the opportunity, we should not revenge. Mm. We should allow God to fight for us. Mm. Like some people are saying today, drop the Bible, carry gun. God, we can't kill anybody because God is the creator of all. Mm. When you kill somebody, it's like you are wounding God. Mm. Because God is the giver of life. That means you are taking away what God has given. So it's a wound. Awesome. You know, Cyrus was a hidden king. Yes. And God was able to use him. Yes. So the place of prayer... In prayer in the realm of the spirit can alter things and That's cause right. even that man that is rising against you, God can use him to even benefit you. Yes. The example, you know the experience of Esther and Mordecai. He can even make a mistake, what we call holy mistake. Thinking that he wants to do, to destroy you, but as he's doing that, he's is still that that's what promoting devil you. Did now. <laughs> so when when the, Jesus was when killed, devil, yes. they were rejoicing. They were rejoicing, not yeah, knowing that. Yeah. Because they don't know it. They don't say, had I known, I uh, yeah. wouldn't have killed uh, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, somewhere in uh, uh, correct as the same thing, had known. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. awesome. Yeah. That is your take on this. In what practical ways, Christians of every nation, I mean, a child of God in South Africa, who is watching, a child of God in the United States of America, a even child of Afghanistan. Maker, in Afghanistan, wherever they are, how can they shine forth as examples, even in the face of persecution? Yes, the thing is, actually, uh, the world is um, like uh, end times. Mm. Uh, certain things is the time when people are lawless, mm. Mm. when people are growing more and more in. Um, Brazenly, uh, in and disregarding God, hmm. uh, hmm. taking God. Uh, God aside, and then uh, enthroning self. self. Hmm. And uh, it is coming in such a way that it's becoming the norm. Hmm. And that if you don't uh, follow suit in it, that direction, you then, look as if you are the misfit. Uh, yes, you, are you the, don't fit you are, in. You are the misfit. Hmm. And so that is the time Jesus. when the Christians really should uh, examine themselves. Say, am I following the word? Or am I still following Christ? Following Christ? Hmm. Uh, the demonstration of faith. Yeah, sometimes we lose even in this our country now. Many have lost hope completely. Exactly. Say, yes. nothing, I've engaged uh, people that tell me uh, that. No, 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 no. So I even if you talk, uh, as uh, the venerable say that um, praying for the government, they say yeah, you are <laughs> stupid. Uh, it's not possible. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, why, why are you even praying? In fact, yeah. it's a failed nature. But nothing is uh, still impossible. Uh, God, young yes. God, that we ask us to still whatever we face. Always stay ask yourself, really, where is the place of God, God in this uh, And how does it reflect awesome. in your action? And even so, faith, because uh, let me do one experience that okay. surprised me. One day, I will mention the place we gather together as priests, not church members, so priests. And we were praying for Nigeria many, many years ago. I think it was during the Abacha era. And we are praying. All of us were there praying for the nation, praying that Nigeria will survive, praying this and that. Immediately after the prayer, you know, after the prayer, you will sit gather together and talk. And one night, I guy was a young priest then. And one night, he said, ah, Nigeria has spoiled. <laughs> <Yes, laughs> and I said, ah, daddy, then why are we wasting pray. our time praying? <laughs> awesome. Yeah. God indeed <laughs> so, will help us <laughs> to indeed respond to this thing in our duty, both our nation, and then we expect leadership to also correspondingly do that which is the obligation so that this yeah. nation will thrive. Amen. You know, when you are contributing, sir, yes, I think sir. in question two, you take that leadership, people should appreciate that whatever position that they are in, that it is the Lord that Bless took them, them there. Yes. You may have made the effort as a man, but your effort in itself is not enough to place you there. How do I know? 
In Genesis chapter 39, verse 23, the Bible says that whatever Joseph did, the Lord made it, made prosper. it prosper. Yes, It was the hand of the Lord that, that made it so prosper, fun. not yes. because of what he did. So fun. we should not abuse positions. Mm. Let us promote the rule of law. Let there be justice in the land. Mm. And then, of course, our nation will thrive. Nigeria is not a hopeless situation. No. Out of the ashes of our ruin, God, God can raise up a new nation. Oh, yes. But it demands that watchmen in this nation keep on praying. Mm -hmm. Conclusion. God, the creator, established nations and instituted governments in its many different forms to provide order and godliness. Our duty as citizens is to obey and pray for our nation and all our leaders for prosperity and good governance. Food for thought. Every nation is to help our citizens maintain good conduct all together. Memory verse, we are reading together. Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 14, 14, verse 34. Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. Righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. Nations fly high on the wings of righteousness. Hmm. I will say it if my people, I think Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, if my people whom are called by my name will humble themselves, seek God and repent, the Lord will heal the land. Amen. God is calling our nation at a time like this, at this junction, unto repentance. If we will hear his voice, if we will not harden our heart as in the days of Meribah, God indeed will heal our land. Amen. We want to thank God for today, for how mightily he has helped us that God of all nations has helped us on this mount as we establish the frameworks and the foundation for our subsequent discussions. And we are trusting God that you've been blessed. We are equally very grateful to our fathers and the Lord, whom God has used to bring his mind to us today. The Venerable Emmanuel Oluda Rotoki. Thank you. May for the Lord continually me, uphold you. Amen. We pray that his oil upon your head will never run dry. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Venerable Dr. Roba. It's always a joy yeah, thank you to have you. You, you are like a, an encyclopedia yeah, of some yeah, of these yeah, things. And we yeah, want to so. trust God that God will continue to keep you. Amen. We're equally excited at the new heights that the Lord is raising you. During the clergy forum, we watch the dedication on the clergy. Is it clergy? Senior clergy. We pray that that grace for that new assignment, the Lord will increase it upon your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Child of God, until we see you same time, next week on this platform keep on being a good citizen god loves you yes. nigeria will arise amen